Um, then in the 70s, again, you get a more sober uh, reflection on democracy, not uh, an outright uh, takedown of democracy, but a sober reflection on some pros and cons and an attempt to be neutral. But in the 90s, again, something odd happens. It is once again even harsher than after the Second World War, even harsher than after the American Revolution. It is put forward as the end all, be all, can only be the only solution for every one form of government. And that, my friends, is when you get into trouble. That is when you go into war for democracy's sake. That is when you go into liberation wars, into other countries, into sovereign countries, and completely topple their regimes, and then setting up a foreign regime. Now, the Germans living in the interwar period can tell you how well that went. But if you believe that that is too extreme a comparison, let us instead look at what communism did. Now, democracy is not communism, you say. Well, it is not, but communism was revolutionary. It had to spread by its own doctrine. It had to spread. It had to make sure that the entire world became communist, else it could not uh, introduce the equal society. Now, this mean, meant that <clears throat> uh, after Lenin uh, got power in Russia, they tried to invade Poland several times over what they called the Revolutionary Bridge, a bridge spanning uh, the river between, uh, which was then uh, dividing up Russia and Poland. And each time they were beaten back. And oddly enough, Stalin was the last person to try. He was very fearful of his life. To his luck, Lenin died. He usurped power at the Third International. And funny uh, little tidbit, after the Second World War and uh, Stalin and Churchill were redrawing the map of Europe, oddly enough, that bridge and that river ended up on the side of Russian soil at the expense of uh, most of what was then known as Eastern Germany, which, which was then given to Poland in recompense, which Poland, by the way, was not very happy with. So communism tried to spread itself because it believed itself to be the end all, be all, the only way of government. And it was for the good of the other people. They might not agree right now, but they will. In the long run, it will be better for them. And the world is a better place without the tyranny of capitalism, without the tyranny of capitalists and uh, the tyranny of religion, uh, dragging down all of humans. We have to go on this revolutionary uh, war and spread this ideal. Now, if this does not remind you of how we speak of democracy, or at least how we spoke of democracy and how the corporate media spoke of democracy, and even how after the extreme debacle that was Iraq and that is Afghanistan, even now people are uh, trying to justify and saying, well, Iraq is better off without Saddam Hussein. The world is a better place without him in power. No, it's not. It is not. You can flat out see on the world map, on the number of wars, on the number of civilian Iraqis killed, on the uh, division of power between warlords in uh, many countries in the Middle East, including Iraq, it is not better off without Saddam Hussein. Now, it might be a hundred years from now, but then it will be that in spite of us sticking our head inside a hornet's nest and starting to headbang. Like, it is not better off. The world is not better off. Iraq is not better off. So, yes, we are spreading democracy in the same way that people try to spread Christianity, Islam, in the same way that people try to spread communism, in the same way that people try to spread any idea, ideology, 
faith or belief that they believe is the end all be all, that they believe is there to be defeated. Like extremist atheists believing that religion is an extreme ill and the reason or one of the major reasons of the ills of society. Now, is some religion responsible for some ills of society? Undoubtedly. Is the same true of many other things? Undoubtedly. Is religion for the majority uh, a good thing for a majority of people? It is, but these people believe to a fault that anyone believing that is misinformed, ill-informed, and that the adverse effects of religion are subtle, they're sneaky, they work against progress, and all progress is to be sustained, all progress is a good thing without debate, without discussion, it's just a good thing to have progress even though you cannot even define what progress is. So people who believe that their way or the highway, when it comes to any ideal, are dangerous. And it seems like it's democracy's turn.